Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to my channel. This is my studio which is known as the Basement Dino Dungeon. In case that you guys do not know, I collect dinosaur figurines as well as animal figurines. Okay, so today we'll take a look at my sea animal figurines collection because we have just added a couple of our new sea animal figurines right here. We have a puffin, we have a shark ray as well as a zebra shark. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys my collection of sharks as well as like penguins and other sea animals okay so let's take a look at them okay guys so this is basically our animal shelf okay so our sharks are actually all right in this drawer so let me just take this out we're gonna put all the sharks in all the sharks are actually arranged pretty neatly as you guys can see we also have another drawer which we keep our penguins I don't think it's right here, so let's take a look. We definitely need more of these boxes, for sure. I think penguins are kept inside this box. So we'll take a look at our sharks, as well as this drawer of sea animals. So let's go. Okay guys, so let's begin, okay? So yep, we have a bunch of sea animals right here, which contains sharks and other sea creatures. So this one is actually our new figure. It is a shark ray, as you guys can see, a 2017 figure from Collector. It's a really beautiful one. So I'm gonna put this one right here in the left box where we put all different sharks. I will try to identify all different shark rays and place them in one corner right over here, okay? So let's do this. Next up, we have a zebra shark, okay? It's not exactly a shark ray, but I think we can place it close to the shark ray. All right, a next, I mean, the next new figure that we've just added, it's our Puffin. Yep, this is our one and only Puffin figure in my entire collection. I don't have any Puffin figure, so I'm very happy to have added this to my collection. So I'm going to put the Puffins right here. They will definitely be placed, you know, along with other penguins such as this one. I think this is a uh, Humboldt penguin, if I'm not wrong. It's an African penguin, I beg your pardon. Okay, so I'm going to put the puffins and um, the penguins together. What about this one? This one seems to be an emperor penguin, but it doesn't seem like a nicely detailed one. It is more like a budget type of figure, I think. Alright, let's move on. And here we have a sawfish. Okay, a sawfish. So I think this one will definitely go into the left box. I'm just going to put it right in that corner, okay? Um, Walrus. We have a couple of walruses in our collection. I think this is one of them. If I'm not wrong, this is actually from Wano. And this one is a, it's a beautiful figure. It's from Schleich, you can see. The detailing on this is very nice. And another one which is really, really beautiful. It's one from Safari LTD. Yeah, I think this one is, looks really good. It's a 2041. The intricate details on this is amazing. It's pretty amazing. Okay, I'm gonna put all the walruses right here. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Okay, next up, let's have a look. This is a California um, sea lion, if I'm not wrong, sea lion. So the sea lion, just gonna put it very close with um, the warriors. Okay, polar bears as well. Polar bears, I think we have a couple of polar bears in our collection. This is one of them, very adorable looking. It's a cup, so just gonna put it right here very close to the armor um, sea lions as well so you know in future when we do this we can easily find them another one okay another one which is right here very adorable this is a very very cute oops it's a very cute little penguin as you guys can see this is actually known as a rock hopper penguin very 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 adorable looking uh penguin okay all right, let me just adjust my um, lighting. I think um, I'm seeing a lot of shadow. Yeah, I think this is much better right now. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's see, let's see. Let's see whether we have other shark rays in our collection. We should have plenty of them, but uh, let's take a look at the um, hammerhead shark. So this is actually a scallop hammerhead shark, really beautiful one. We have plenty of hammerheads. So I'm just gonna put all the hammerheads right here. Let's try to identify all of them. Here's another one, which is exactly the same. Scallop hammerhead shark. As you can see, it has some curves and bumps on its hammerhead, which is different from the usual one. Okay, Megalodon. This is a Megalodon, a prehistoric 
shock. I'm going to put it um, along with other great whites like this one. So all the great whites will go right here. Yeah, I think it's going to be challenging. We're going to be buying lots more drawers right here to be placed next to this um, shelf so that we have more space for all the different animals. Yeah, our collection is definitely expanding. Um, this is another great white. So over here for sure. Let's see what else we've got. Another great white shark. As you guys can see, we have plenty of great whites. I think we should have at least 30 different great whites. Here's another one, great white shark. But you can see the, the paint is actually coming off. Okay, let's see. Okay, this one, it seems to be a zebra shark, if I'm not wrong. Yes, a zebra shark. So it's just going to be placed right here. Basking shark. One of the um, very weird looking sharks. It's a future feeder, although it looks, you know very intimidating here's another one with the mouth wide open so they basically um feed on small little sea animals i mean not sea animals like you know they feed on stream and krill and um, plankton and stuff like that so here is another penguin what is this humboldt penguin so penguins we have a small little family of penguins right here which is very nice this is a, a sliding penguin a south african penguin just sliding on its own belly very cute and adorable and here it's a penguin cheek an emperor penguin cheek and um yeah we're gonna make space for turtles as well and this is a leatherback sea turtle very nice so right here um this is a sea turtle baby it doesn't specify its um species below so it basically says Sea turtle baby, a 2006 figure. Nice. Another really stylish looking penguin. You know, I call this a very stylish penguin because the hairstyle looks very, very cute. Penguin, it's, it's basically a rock hopper penguin. Okay, let's move on and take a look. Yes, right here we have another shock ray. I don't think, you know, the name is actually written right below because this is a schleich figure, but you can see its mouth below. Very nice figure. This is a, um, 2015 figure yes yeah, it's, it's like seven years old okay um another great white if i'm not wrong this is a schleich figure 2016 very very cool 2016 um yes another hammerhead shark i call this a sand hammerhead shark because of the colors i, I mean i call this the lemon hammerhead shark because it has the colors of a lemon shark yeah and speaking of lemon shark i think this is the one right here can see the colors is um actually like a bit yellowish very cool blue shark yep this is a blue shark it basically gets its name from the colors of its um body okay so i'm just gonna put a blue shark next to the um great whites right here with another sea turtle right here this is basically an adult sea turtle so next to the turtles for sure Mega Moth Shark. I love the Mega Moth Shark because I feel the figures are actually very rare to find. I mean, um, similarly, the actual shark is also very, very hard to find. You can only find them right, like really, really deep down in the um, ocean waters. And here it's a Bull Shark, one of the most aggressive sharks out there. It is definitely much more ferocious than a Great White. Okay, um, next up, a Tiger Shark right here. Okay, tiger shark. We, we should have a couple of tiger sharks. I think we have two very similar ones. This should be a uh, bamboo shark. Yeah, a leopard shark. I beg your pardon. Leopard shark. The leopard shark, I'm going to put it together with the zebra sharks because do you guys know that zebra sharks and leopard sharks, they are actually the same. Just that the patterns would change along um, their lifespan. So another polar bear cop. Let's see what else we got. Mega Moth Shark. Yes, Mega Moth Shark. They look very hideous, right? But they are actually, I mean, they're, they're super hard to find, like what I've mentioned just now. Okay. And this is a white tip reef shark. You can see there is there is like a white tip on all the fins. Okay. Salmon fish. So the salmon fish will be placed. Um, right here with the other fish for example like the blue tang the blue tang is a very interesting fish I've seen them before right in front of my eyes in a local sea aquarium and um, they have ability to adjust 
the blue intensity of its body yeah so you can see some of them are in darker shades of blue some of them are in lighter shades of blue very cool this penguin is easily recognizable because it has a strap across the chin which is why it's known as the chin strap penguin the name is actually written right below it's really really small chin strap penguin okay so it will be placed together with um the other penguins and here we have a leopard seal yep leopard seal i'm just gonna put it together with the walruses and um, the sea lions and speaking of sea lion right here we have another one this is from, from schleich it's quite an old figure if i'm not wrong okay i'm just gonna put it right here let's see what else we've got another sea turtle you can see the head of this sea turtle is slightly like damaged because it was bitten by tutu in case you guys don't know tutu is my is my dog it's a shizu he's five years old right now when he was young he used to bite a lot lots of things in the house <laughs> okay um and this is a mako shark okay mako shark i'm just gonna put it together with the blue shark because i i feel they look very similar this is a gray reef shark so just gonna put it together with um the sharks right over here this one it's a oceanic white tip shark it's different from the it's different from the white tip reef shark so okay so i think this shark is definitely bigger than the um reef shark and this is a nurse shark you can see you can easily recognize it by the two fang like features in front of its face okay let me just put this right here this it's a black tip reef shark okay nice put it right over here and here with a koi fish very nice just gonna put it right here let's see what else we've got a frog fish okay frog fish they have the ability to walk i'm gonna, I'm gonna put like inverted commas because uh they can use their fins to like you know sort of like walk on the ocean sea floor which is kind of cool here we have a prehistoric fish it's known as a coelocanth okay so i'm just gonna put this one right here i mean it's not exactly a modern sea animal and here we have another sea turtle and it is a camps ridley sea turtle baby very cute just put this right here let's see what else we've got leopard seal okay and let's see what else um tiger shark very nice tiger shark and this is a huge um great white okay so yep trying to find a way to um position this shark hammerhead shark right here with the other hammerheads um if i'm not wrong this is a pointer shark i'm not i'm not, not very sure okay and another hammerhead shark is actually a hammerhead sh shark baby supposed to be a baby another one right here this one is easily recognizable it is a thrasher shark okay and this is a short fin mako shark very nice one i'm gonna put it next to the uh, mako shark and not a great white as you guys can see we have so many great whites I'm not too sure what type of shark this is. I mean, if you guys know, do let me know down below, okay? Another great white. Wow, how many great whites do we have? I think we have over 50 of them. Our um, hammerhead shark baby. It is the same one as the previous figure right here. This should be a warbler gang. It should be. If this one right here is a fruit shark, okay one of the very weird looking sharks ichthyosaurus um not exactly a shark i'm gonna put this together with um the other um prehistoric sea animals it's actually a prehistoric sea animal okay this is a large mouth bass if i'm not wrong let's take a look at the name written right below yep a large mouth bass let's see what else we've got a catfish very interesting fish because they can actually use their whiskers to find its way in the murky water yep they live in very murky water this it's a manatee yep manatee i'm gonna put it together um, with the walruses and here is one that looks like a manatee but it's actually a dugong okay 
Another manatee right here. A basking shark. Very nice one. Um, this it's a great white. You can see it's quite a big one. It's quite a huge one. Not too sure what this is. It looks like a bull shark to me, probably. Bonnet head shark. Mm -hmm. It looks like a hammerhead shark, but the hammerhead is actually like much smaller than the rest. I mean, as compared to the hammerhead, this is a great white. Let's see what else we've got. And here it's a leopard seal, a nice one. Okay. And here is a bamboo shark. An emperor penguin with a little cheek. This one is a very, very beautiful figure. I think it's from Peppo. Very, very nice one. A flying fish. Angler fish. I'm hoping to get a new angler fish figure because this is our one and only one. And it's not like a great one, so hopefully you're able to find one. Um, this is a Goliath grouper, very beautiful one. A couple of um, small little ones. Okay, we have a swordfish right here. Salmon. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, why do I say salmon? Um, it's a clownfish, I beg your pardon. We have um, three clownfish right here. Why did I say salmon? That was really, really funny. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna put them right here. California sea lion. Okay next to the um, other sea lions right here um if i'm not wrong this is a loggerhead sea turtle yep loggerhead sea turtle you can see the name is written right below very small another hammerhead shark it's so from schleich beautiful figure as well sand tiger shark Hop seal, you can see the beautiful patterns on his body. I love this seal, looks very adorable. And here we have another zebra shark. Yep, it's from Collecte. A shark ray. Yep, we do have a couple of shark rays in our collection. Box fish, very cute little box fish. Emperor penguin. A very mini dugong, so I'm gonna put the dugong, this mini dugong next to the uh, larger ones. A mini sawfish, or um, a tiger shark. Let's see what else we've got. All these are mini, so I'm not gonna go through all of them. We have a weedy sea dragon, so they can be placed, it can be placed here along with the seahorse. I do feel they look very similar. Uh, they do have some similar features. For example, they have a very long snout. Okay, they have a very long and slender body as well. But of course, you can see the weedy sea dragon is actually much more colorful here. With a robber gang. Okay. I have no idea what is the name of this species of fish. I mean, if you guys know, you can definitely let me know, okay? Another mini dugong. This should be an African penguin. I think so. An emperor penguin. Someone told me that this is actually a ghost shark. So, yeah. And the rest are basically some very, very small little shark figures as well as some small fish. I'm going to put the small little fish into um, the sea animal box. There's a piece of rubber band right here. I'm just going to throw it away. Yep, so the rest of the sharks, I'm just going to put it inside here. Okay. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this, guys. I will see you guys in the next video, okay? Goodbye.